Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. Your haters don't stand a chance. They can't beat you. Now they want to join. Don't let them be a part of what you do. Don't let your haters join what you're doing. People who have tried to make you feel bad about certain things, and then once it works out, they want a piece of the pie. Don't involve those people in what you're doing. All right, yeah, don't 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 um involve people in what you're doing. Um, people don't deserve the the fruit of your labor. They don't deserve your hard works. Don't allow other people to take the credit for the moves that you choose to make. People always want to come around when things aren't, when things are working out. When you are struggling. When you're getting it through the mud. All right, you know, when you're really trying to make things happen. It's not going to be many people who want to be in the picture. It's not going to be too many people who want to be in the picture. It's going to be a lot of people who don't want to be in the picture. People who are not going to want to have anything to do with what you're doing because it's not popping off yet. It, it doesn't look like it's going to be successful for you yet. But you know, as soon as you become successful, people are going to come around. People are going to want to implant themselves in, in what you have going on. And they're going to want to be a part of it. But no one wants to be a part of the process where you have to put in all the work to get to where you've gotten to. They don't want to be a part of that. They don't want any, any of that part but they want to be around when the money's being thrown and, and you're going out to eat and you're able to do all the fun things people like to do. Don't allow haters to come back and try to involve themselves in what you have going on. They don't stand a chance. People that couldn't beat you all right, they couldn't beat you into believing that what they wanted was best for you. And a lot of times when you even go the route somebody wants you to take, when you when you think you're doing what's best for you because somebody else says so, even when you do that, depending on how this person is actually coming, it's still not going to be good enough. So you might as well just let this person be a hater because trying to please them so they might act different or be different towards you, that never works. So this person doesn't stand a chance. All right, they couldn't beat you, but now they see things working out for you after they told you it wouldn't work. After they told you, you couldn't do it. Now they see that you did it. They see that it's done. They see that you were able to actually do it and make it happen. Now they want something to do with you. Now they want to be a part of what you have going on. Before, when things were hard, when they seem difficult, when you had to put in all the, the hard work and everything and do all the stuff that didn't seem fun, all the hard things, all the difficult things, all the things where you had to do all the research and learn and all, all the boring stuff, all the stuff that people don't like doing. You were the one to do it. So your haters don't stand a chance because all they did was do this. Talking, 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 
just not, nothing but just hot air. And that's all they're ever going to have is an opinion, something to say, mostly something negative to say. But once they see things actually start to take off, just know that people are going to want to come back around. People that had bad things to say about you. Mm-hmm. People that were talking about you behind your back. Mm-hmm. People that um acted like they didn't want anything to do with you. And you can tell there was a huge difference between the way that they were with other people than what than how they were with you. And you could tell that difference. You could tell there was some shadiness there. There was some there was some uh, hostility there. You could see that. So as a wise person would do, you made the proper moves to remove yourself from certain people because the energy that they were giving you. You could see that, you know, this energy is not the type that I'm I'm looking for here. I'm looking for uh, a, a little bit more of a less hostile uh, group, you know, a, a less hostile group to chill around, to be around. You know, I, I want to be around some people where the vibes are good. You know, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I, w- I want to be around some people where the vibes are good. You know, I don't constantly have to uh, worry about what's being said or, or, or worry about uh, people saying something towards you, you or something like that. So people have been hating for as long as you can remember. It's like every little thing you do, they'll comment on it. They'll have something to say about it. And it it won't ever be positive. They'll have one way, form, or another to try to clown you and to try to get you to feel weird or awkward or ashamed of yourself. But now, once they see things starting to work out, now they see things starting to pick up. Now they see things starting to change for you. They want to come back around. They don't mind being a part of things now. They know it's going to work. Everybody, everybody wants to put in some work and some effort and and be a part of things once they see things working out. Hey, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. Nobody wanted, wanted to do it when... They didn't see things working out. But now that they actually see how things are going to turn out, they actually see this going somewhere for you, they actually see things being able to happen by what you're doing, good things, positive things, now they want to be a part of it. They want to be all in the mix. When just a a short while ago, these were the same people that were laughing at you for what you were trying to do making fun of you for going out and doing your own thing, thinking it was hilarious that you would go act out on some ideas that you had. Your haters don't stand a chance. All right, these people could not beat you. They couldn't beat you. The things they said couldn't destroy you. The things they did didn't stop you. They couldn't beat you. All the jokes they told, all the negative things they had to say, all the the things they created to laugh at, make fun of you for, all those things weren't able to prevent you from making it happen. You won. You won. You're creating the life that you want. Things are working out for you as they should. And you're winning in every aspect of your life. You done chose to make some positive changes. And things are are turning around. Things are looking around. Things are, are different than they used to be. And that's why your haters don't stand a chance. People can talk about you and say what they want. That doesn't mean that's how things are going to turn out. And you made these people feel like fools and look like fools because they still think the same way, but you're acting 
different. You're moving different. You're not living the same way anymore. But now, not only do they want to act like they didn't say what they said, they actually want to be a part of what you're doing. They actually want to be a part of what you're doing. They see what you're doing. They see it working for you. They see how it's working for you. They see you working it. Now they want to be a part of it. They want to be a part of it now. All that hard work they saw you putting in. All that time and effort they saw you putting in. Didn't offer to help. Didn't didn't ask to help. Didn't, hey, do you need this? Is there anything, you know, I could do? Is there anything you, you, you need done? Nobody wants to do any of the hard work when somebody is doing something. People just want to reap the, the rewards. People just want to reap the benefit. They don't want to do anything hard. It's like somebody who's who's working on a garden. You know, you, you till the land, you plant the seeds, you water the seeds. Every other day or however long it takes for you to water them, seeds start to sprout. Water the, the sprouts. Then, they, you know, they start to grow more until they can produce fruit. And now... You'll have people that want to come to you for free food and free vegetables and and free fruit. But nobody wanted to help you till the land. Nobody wanted to help you plow the land, plant the seeds, cover the seeds back up, water the seeds, grow the food. Nobody wanted to help you consistently work that garden. Nobody wanted to consistently help you work your dream. And they shouldn't. It's your dream. But for them to mock you, talk about you, laugh at you, have horrible, negative, awful things to say, to only come back around once they see things working out, once they see things maturing to a higher level, a a more professional level, a career-like level. Once they see you elevating yourself and taking your life to a newer height, then they're going to want to show their face, especially if what you have is really working for you and it's going to lead you down the path of success, down the path of prosperity. It's going to allow you to make some better choices. It's going to allow you to make some better changes for you. Of course, they're going to want to be a part of that. Of course, they're going to want to be all up in it because they see that you are in it to win it. When someone is taking themselves serious and what they're doing is becoming successful and they see this person headed to a never ending uh, uh, success type level. All right. Where people become ultra, super, mega successful. And now all they do is just get more successful. They're around successful people doing successful things, making making business moves, doing business partnerships, having meetings, things like that. They see you headed in this direction. And whether they know it or not, that's where you are headed. All right, because you can see that for yourself and you feel that for yourself. You may just have to make the decision and decide that that's what you want. But your haters don't stand a chance. Don't let them be part of anything you do. People are going to want to come around and want to join you. They're going to want to be a part of what you're doing, what you have going on. They're going to want to see what it is. See if you could teach them some things. See if they could work for you possibly. Don't do it. Don't let them be a part of anything you do. You have to really see people's true intentions their, and, and how they really feel towards you. People will fake the funk to get what they want, you know, act like they're cool with you, get involved with you, and then watch what you're doing turn to shambles. They'll play their part just enough to get close to you so they can stab you in the back and watch your whole system fall to pieces. 
somebody that wasn't cool with you in the beginning is not going to be cool with you later on. That person is going to feel the same way towards you as before you became successful as they did when you become successful. People don't change. And I mean, people, people do change, but people don't change for other people. All right. People change for themselves. Number one. All right. A person may change for their family. A person may change for someone they're in a relationship with or someone that they're seeing or, you know, something like that. But people really don't change unless it's for themselves, unless it's something that's going to benefit them. Still, you change for your family. It benefits you because you get to keep your family and you don't look crazy out here. Uh, And same thing for if you're seeing someone or you're not like being the best kind of person that you could be beyond like not being perfect or something like that. But don't involve people in what you're doing because a a snake just sheds its, its skin to become a bigger snake. people hated on you before you became successful, it's not going to go away just because they're happy for you or pretending, excuse me, pretending to be happy for you. Unless that person really genuinely feels that way, there's really not going to be that much of a change. The person is still going to feel the same way they did before you became successful. All right, people will not want to help you, be hating on you, be talking about you and have negative things to say all through your your trial period, trial and error period of making things work for yourself. And all it takes is somebody who will be consistent, who's willing to learn and who's willing to not give up. Like it it takes work to, to do something that's going to be able to get you somewhere. Once people realize that how much work something takes, they're not really willing to continue because the amount of work that is going to take to get to where the uh, the finish line is, is going to scare some people. Work, work scares people. There are some people that are afraid to do some work. Like you've heard the saying before, are you you scared of a little work? Are you afraid of a little work? Are you scared of a little this? Are you afraid? People are scared of a little work. That saying holds truer than you'll ever know. People are afraid of a little work. They really are. And it, it's sad because the, where, like, the work is going to get you where you want to go. The work's going to get you somewhere. Hard work pays off. You put in enough work, you'll get the kind of results you want. As long as you put in the type of work that is required to produce those results, you'll get those results if you put in the type of work that produces those results. You want those results, produce the type of work that will produce the results. Your haters do not stand a chance. People who had nothing good to say about you because you were trying to step out and do something new, something that took time to learn, something that you had to, to, to spend time teaching yourself, something to where you didn't know what you were doing and you, you may have had to fall flat on your face for a couple tries, or maybe you're still falling flat on your face, but you're, you're making progress by what you're learning. Each, each step you take, each try that you you um each try that you you take you are learning you're making progress you're you're learning more than what you knew previously with 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 each time you decide to to work on something you're you're going to learn a little bit more each time so people who don't want to take that process are usually people who want shortcuts, people who want things handed to them, people who want things without having to do any work behind it. It just doesn't it doesn't work like that. All right, there are some people who have to work for uh for what they get and usually everyone does. There are some people who catch like a lucky break 
and I wouldn't disassociate myself from catching a lucky break, but who's to say you may not catch a lucky break, but even if you do, you still want to be able to have a good work or work a good work ethic with you to go along with that lucky break you're going to get. But as far as those haters go, they don't stand a chance. And they can't beat you. So one thing that they'll try to do is since they can't beat you, they'll try to join you and beat you. Try to join themselves, make themselves a part of what you're doing, and then destroy the infrastructure from the inside out. Try to tear things down from the inside and cripple your organization, cripple your program from the inside out. Don't involve them in anything you do. People will claim that they've changed. People will say that they've turned into another person. But most of the time, people will just say these things so they can get close to you. They want to get close to you. People will say these things just so they can get close to you. Just so they can, can try to destroy you one last time. And if they can do something big and then put their hands up and give you the look like, I didn't know, I don't know. What I... That they would be tickle pink. It, it would make them so happy. I mean, it, they they would be elated to get an opportunity to destroy something that you have put in place and then throw their hands up and act like they don't even know what they're doing. It's not that they don't know what they're doing. It's just that people don't care. It's not them. It's nothing they've worked towards. And that's another reason why you can't have people around like that because they don't understand the value of all the work it took for you to create what you made. You put in all those hours and you're gonna you're telling me you're gonna just easily bring someone in just because you know them and they didn't put in any effort and and not even on top of that, they even tried to convince you that you wouldn't succeed. And now because you're feeling good and they know that you 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 don't have anyone around and you could probably use a friend or someone to talk to, you won't let this person weasel their way back in after all the effort that you put in all the hours you worked, all the days you were by yourself, all the time you were alone, when things weren't uh, uh, going how, how they uh, should have been, or things weren't growing, or things weren't ready, or, or your blessings weren't as prepared for you as they are now, you were prepared for them? No, no. If you're not preparing for the blessings for me, when it comes, don't be prepared to have it. Don't be prepared to, don't, don't be prepared to think you can have some. Don't, don't, don't put your hands out. Don't let them join anything that you do. People don't put in the same amount of care and effort as you do when it comes to things that you have a passion for. If they don't have a passion for it or a love for it, you may not as well involve yourself with them at all or have them be involved with what it is that you're doing. Maybe they could be involved with something else. Maybe you know God might put it on your heart to bless them so they could do their own thing. But as far as getting up with you, you know, as far as being a part of what you have going on, that's a, a big red fat no. Big old no. Huge no. All right, that's a, a, a extremely big no right there. All right, they want to watch you fail from the inside out. They want to see if they could make you lose. People, people will try to connive you and try to charm you and try to get you to think that it's all good. They'll get, and they do it to they catch you while you're feeling good because they know you're you're uh you're uh you, you it's a potential that you might be off guard. All right, they catch you when you're feeling good. They catch you when things are going well for you. Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. We need to, you need to go take that somewhere else. I'm I'm not dealing with you. It's no bad blood, nothing against you, but I learned my lesson from being around you. I learned my lesson from dealing with you. It's better off if I go do my thing and be separate and not associate with you as far as my business, as far as my organization, as far as my projects, as far as what I'm working on, as far as what I have going on for me, as far as I'm concerned, I, that needs to be separate. It's no love loss. It's no hate. But 
what it is is that I worked really hard for this and I'm not going to allow anything to come in between uh, me and what I have going on or anything that might try to stop what stop what I'm doing because I just I you 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 can't afford it you can't afford it so yo haters don't stand a chance because they can't beat you all right and they also can't get you to not focus on your goals they also can't get you to not do the work you need to do they also can't try to sink your shit your your ship has set sail and it it is unsinkable not like the titanic but because god is uh the captain of that ship all right we we, we're allowing god to sail this ship and god is unsinkable all right (laughs) god god doesn't sink all right so um your your new ship you are aboard the 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 chosen vessel all right, and you are being guided and led by your angels on a cruise ship of the Lord, and it shall not sink. All right, so don't allow these people to come back into your life because you have something going on and you feel good and things are working out for you and you're happy. All right, that's when the devil likes to strike. All right, when you when you seem to have had some time away from the treatment, some time away from the things people said, some time away from people's negative behavior and energy, don't fall asleep. All right, don't don't fall, don't let them rock you to sleep. Do not let them rock you to sleep. That's what they'll try to do. Get back in your good graces. Act like your buddy buddy. Act like you're cool because things are working out for you, and they want to attach themselves to a winner. Someone that, you know, they think they could uh, butter up and, and get everything they need from. But they don't stand a chance this time because you're not going to let them join you because you beat them and they lost. And now they want to join the winning team. Don't let them be a part of anything you do. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. We out.